All right, here with the defensive coordinator Dave Aranda talking about the Warrior linebackers. Um, Coach, you know any discussion about the the linebackers this year always starts with uh, Corey Paredes and Aaron Brown, two big playmakers, always around the ball. It's, it's quite a pair to have to lead your defense. It is. You know, we're expecting good things from Corey. His camp's been good. He's improved. We need him to improve. Uh, he's taken on a leadership role, which is good. And uh, we're going to have Aaron back. Aaron's been injured, and Aaron's going to be back early next week. And Aaron's one of, if not our biggest playmaker. And so things will look good. We have them both together again. You know, both of them saw extensive time last year. A little bit nicked up going into this year. But is that the, the same plan, to have them carry the workload, so to speak? No, I want to be able to rep it out. And I think last year we were in a situation where we had to do what we had to do uh, in terms of them sharing are really uh, assuming the load themselves, the workload, where I think this year we have the uh, depth and the talent that we can uh, rep them out. And I feel good about our our twos with uh, Daryl McBride on one side with George D. Lyles in the middle. And then we're having a little bit of a battle at Stubb, and so we'll see who comes out of that between Brendan Daly and, and Art Laurel and TJ, and there's some good depth. You're pretty, you're pretty comfortable with the depth this year. I mean, it, it seems like there's a lot of good returnees, and like you mentioned, someone like Darrell McBride who, who moved positions this year. I do. I feel that when it all is said and done, we'll have a really solid two deep. And every place we've been, uh, we've always liked to have depth so that we could rep people out and keep people fresh for the fourth quarter, keep people fresh for the end of the year. Like you said, last year we were very worn out, very tired, kind of hanging on by a thread. Uh, and... Uh, don't want that to happen again. I want to be a lot fresher, and we've got the talent and the ability of uh, of uh, a multitude of guys. So let's use them. How about Jordan Monaco? He's a guy who um, he's switching positions this year to linebacker, and during the spring, uh, he seemed to look pretty good out there. He's making plays. You know, Jordan's a jack of all trades. And he's a special teams uh, uh, specialist, and then uh, we have him at the Mac backer. He's running with our threes now, but he's very uh, intelligent, makes the calls, understands the defense, is able to pick up uh, offense, the defense, all the while understanding the changes and the special team schemes. So I have a lot of respect. All right, for Coach, him. how about uh, Juco transfer Brendan Daly? Uh, he, he passes the eye test out there, doesn't he? He does. Uh, we're going to move him around and try to utilize both his skills as an in-the-core linebacker and his pass rush ability. Uh, you know, he's a big guy that can also drop in coverage, and so when you have somebody like that, you would like to uh, uh, to feature him, and uh, we're setting up packages where we can do that. What do you think are the biggest strengths of the unit this year? Uh, they're smart. I think uh, from top down, they're, they've got a football sense to them. You know, they're all academically, and they're all uh, intelligent guys, but I think another... another um, a different dimension would be to be football smart, and they are, they are definitely that, and so it's a joy to coach them. Uh, in your defensive scheme, what are the main things that you're looking to get out of the linebackers this year? To make plays. You know, we two-gap with our front, and so uh, our defensive line kind of take the bullets for the linebackers in a sense, and that uh, we want them taking up double teams and commanding uh, combo blocks where uh, we can trade two of their guys for one of our guys up front. And uh, at the end of the day, a linebacker is free to make a play, and so we need those guys to make plays and um, to make plays in the passing game. I want to say we have five, I think it was five interceptions last year from a linebacker perspective, and I think we can top that uh, with the ability that we have, and uh, the more plays, the better. All right. Thanks, Coach. All right.